The Dog and the Sparrow <laughs> by the Brothers Grimm. <laughs> a dog had a mean master who let him go hungry. When he couldn't stand it anymore, he left home and was very sad. On the road, he met a sparrow who said, Brother Dog, why are you so sad? The dog replied, I'm hungry. I have nothing to eat. The sparrow said, Come to town with me. I'll get you plenty. So they went to town together, and when they came to a butcher shop, the sparrow said to the dog, Stand here. I'll get you a piece of meat. He flew up on the counter and glanced around to make sure no one was looking, and he pecked, tugged, and pulled at a piece of meat that was lying near the edge until it fell down. The dog grabbed it, ran into a corner, and ate it. The sparrow said, Now we'll go to another butcher shop. I'll get you another piece of meat. Then you'll be full. When the dog had eaten the second piece of meat, the sparrow asked, Have you had enough, brother dog? Oh, yes, he said. I've had enough meat, but I haven't had any bread. The sparrow said, you shall have bread. Come along. <laughs> he led him to a bakery and pecked some rolls until they fell down. Then the dog wanted still more, so he took him to another bakery and knocked down some more bread. When the dog had eaten that up, the sparrow asked, Brother dog, have you had enough? Yes, he said. Now, let's go for a little stroll in the country. So they went out on the highway it was a warm day, and when they'd gone a little way, the dog said, Oh, I'm tired. I think I'll take a nap. Yes, do, said the sparrow. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'll sit on a branch. <laughs> the dog lay down in the road and fell asleep. As he lay there sleeping, a wagoner came along in his wagon. He had a team of three horses, and he was hauling two barrels of wine. The sparrow saw he was keeping to the middle of the road, where the dog was lying, and that he had no intention of turning aside. Wagoner, he cried out, don't do it, or I'll make you poor. But the wagoner growled, how can you make me poor? <laughs> Cracked his whip, drove the wagon over the dog, and killed him. Sparrow cried out, You killed my brother, the dog. That's going to cost you your wagon and your horses. Wagon and horses indeed. <laughs> That's something I'd like to see, said the wagoner and drove on. <laughs> the sparrow crawled under the canvas wagon cover and pecked at one of the barrel bungs until it came out. The wagoner didn't notice the wine flowing behind him, but when he happened to look back, he saw the wagon was dripping wet. He examined the barrels and found that one was empty. Poor me, he cried. Not poor enough yet, <laughs> said the sparrow, and flew down onto the head of one of the horses and pecked his eyes out. When the wagoner saw that, he took out his axe and tried to strike the sparrow, but the sparrow flew up into the air and the wagoner struck his horse's head and the horse fell dead. <laughs> poor me, he cried. Not poor enough yet, <laughs> said the sparrow. And when the wagoner drove on with his two remaining horses, the sparrow crawled under the canvas cover again and pecked the bun from a second barrel so that all the wine flowed out. And when the wagoner saw what had happened, he cried once more, Poor me, the sparrow answered, Not poor enough yet, flew down on the second horse's head and pecked his eyes out. <laughs> the wagoner came running, took a swing with his axe, but the sparrow flew up into the air, and the blow struck the horse, who fell dead. The sparrow flew down on the third horse's head, pecked at his eyes. In his rage, the wagoner swung his axe at the sparrow without looking, struck the third horse dead. Poor me, he cried. Not poor enough yet, answered the sparrow. Now I'm going to make you poor in your own home. The wagoner 
left his wagon where it was, and went home in a raging fury. Terrible things have happened, he said to his wife. My wine's run out, and all three of my horses are dead. Oh, husband, she said, a wicked bird has come into the house. He's collected all the birds in the whole world, and now they're in the loft, eating up all our wheat. He went upstairs, and there were thousands and thousands of birds <coughs> on the floor. They'd eaten all the wheat, and the sparrow was right there in the middle. Poor me, the wagoner cried. <coughs> Not Poor enough yet, said the sparrow. Wagoner, it's going to cost you your life. And out he flew. The wagoner was ruined. He went down into the parlour and sat by the stove in a poisonous rage. The sparrow settled on the window and cried, Wagoner, it's going to cost you your life. The wagoner picked up his axe and threw it at the sparrow, but it missed and only smashed the window pane. The sparrow hopped in, perched on the stove and cried, Wagoner, it's going to cost you your life! Crazed and blinded with fury, the wagoner demolished the stove and then, as the sparrow hopped from place to place, smashed all his furniture, mirror, tables, benches and last, the walls of the house. And each time he missed the sparrow, but in the end he caught him in his hand. Should I not be dead? His wife asked. No, he cried. That would be too easy a death. This bird needs to suffer. I'm going to swallow him. And with that, he put the sparrow in his mouth and swallowed him whole. But the bird began to flutter in his stomach and fluttered up into the man's mouth and stuck out his head and cried, Lavana, it's going to cost you your life! The wagoner handed his wife the axe and said, Wife, knock this bird in my mouth dead. The wife swung the axe, but Mr. Bird hit the wagoner square on the head. The wagoner dropped dead and the sparrow flew away. 